Hi, I'm Dr. Scott Mosser, a plastic surgeon and gender surgeon in San Francisco, California. Today we'll be talking about the keyhole incision procedure for FTM top surgery, which on the one hand is a great surgery for minimizing the incisions and therefore scarring of the chest, but on the other hand is a surgery for which relatively few patients are a candidate because this procedure can only be done on individuals with minimal excess skin and breast tissue. Patients who are candidates for the keyhole incision have two main anatomic characteristics. First, they have an areola which does not need to be reduced in diameter because areola reduction does not occur with a keyhole surgery. And secondly, good candidates have small enough excess skin that they have a very open angle beneath the breasts, something which I would call an inframammary angle of greater than 145 degrees. The procedure itself is challenging for the surgeon, but actually fairly straightforward to describe. The incision is designed to be right along the border of the pigmented areola and the surrounding chest skin so it stay hidden right in that region. And the incision usually only extends around the areola about halfway. It's usually located in the bottom area of the areola. Once the incision is made, the surgeon does all of their work through this tiny hole. Small metal retractors and a headlight are used by the surgeon to gradually develop a layer superficial to the breast tissue all the way out to the edges of the breast tissue in every direction, as is demonstrated here by the shading of the extent of the development of this plane. It's critical for the surgeon to try to make this layer as smooth and even as possible to get the best chest shape after surgery. Then, with the skin elevated off the breast tissue, the surgeon, again delicately and with a headlight and retractors, is able to peel the breast tissue off of the underlying muscle and chest and then remove it through this tiny hole. Immediately after this is done, the chest looks flat and the procedure is nearly complete. For all keyhole procedure patients, a drain is placed exiting through the incision so that no additional scarring occurs as a result of the drain. This drain is not painful and it's removed five to six days after surgery. The skin edges are closed with tiny dissolving sutures. So although a keyhole incision is a procedure type which is not available to most FTM top surgery patients, when patients are a good candidate for this surgery, then they can certainly get an excellent result with minimal incision and usually very minor scarring. For more information about top surgery procedure types or to schedule a virtual consultation, click on the link. And to look at more videos in this collection, please click on the box in the upper right-hand corner. Thanks very much.